first of all, I gotta say cow halala, yeah how a cod. This right here is some real talk. Feel me. Dangerous. Alright, Shalom Israel. Ira Yah Israel. I wanna say Shalom to the Akayim. Shalom to the viewers. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the mind state of the Israelite man, the so-called black man, uh, why we in the state of mind that we in, and why we commit the offenses that we do while we walk in the wicked acts, you know. Uh, we're going to go right into it. We're going to start off, though, in the book of Psalms. We got to go and get a verse out real quick before we start. We're going to hit Psalms 119 1 and 17. All right. I right, we're in the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 1. says, Praiseworthy are those whose way is perfect, who walk with the tour of Yahweh. Praiseworthy are those who guard his testimonies. They seek him wholeheartedly. See that? So, you know what I'm saying? Praiseworthy are those who, whose way is perfect. See, because when you're following this tour, your, your, your ways are perfect. Because you're going to keep this tour in your mind, your heart, your soul. So ain't no way you're going to transgress any laws with the tour in your heart, in your soul, in your mind. Verse 19, right? He says, Shalak about that, verse 17. He said, Bestow upon your servant that I should live, that I may keep the word, that I may keep your word. Unveil my eyes that I may perceive wonders from your Torah. See that? So he, this is, you know what I'm saying, uh, David. He said, Bestow your servant that I shall live, that I may keep your word. See, keep your Torah. Right? See, keep your Torah. He said, unveil my eyes that I may perceive wonders from your Torah. See, because he's going to keep the Torah. He said, he said, bestow upon your servant that I shall live. Because this Torah is life. It's how you live. Follow instructions so you can live. The instruction of the tour. It's the guidelines. Right? Praise Yahweh. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Who is a cop? All right. When you go to talking about the mind state of our people, the black man, the black woman, you know, we got to always bring up this Willie Lynch letter because this played a major role, you know what I'm saying? And the deception of our character and in the deception of the God that we serve. You know what I'm saying? So we, we really need to pay attention to this letter. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? From that letter, you could, you could like the Torah say, you, you got to start over. You know what I'm saying? So when you read this letter right here, you'll realize, you know what I'm saying, that you was, pre, you was programmed to think a certain way. You know what I'm saying? Like, this letter, it give you a lot of info, you know what I'm saying, let you know what they did to the slaves in order to turn the black man against the light-skinned black man and the black man against the black woman, the black woman against the black man, the black man against the child, you know what I'm saying? And all they want us to do, according to the letter, is uh, put all our trust and faith in the white man who is the white Christ, you know what I'm saying? That's why they did that to you obviously so you would look up to the white man instead of you know what I'm saying the truth right so we're gonna get into this Willie Lynch letter first we're gonna link it with the tour we're gonna keep going with it you know so let's get into it all right this is the Willie Lynch letter the making of a slave right this is a speech that he delivered to uh he delivered this speech at the James River. You know, he delivered this speech 
at the, on the bank of the James River in the economy of Virginia in 1712. Lynch was a British slave owner in the West Indies. He was invited to the colony of Virginia in 1712 to teach methods to the slaves, to the slave owners there. <clears throat> See, he told him, he said, I am here to solve your problems with slaves. Your invitation reached me on my modest plantation in the West Indies. I have examined with, with some of the newest and still the oldest methods of control of slave. Ancient Rome would envy us if my program was implemented. See there? So, you know what I'm saying? It's showing you that they're the same people when he tell you that the ancient Rome would be, would be, uh, ancient Rome would envy them if they, if they knew this program was Im implemented. See that? So, it's showing you people that you are programmed you've been programmed you know that's what they're showing you they implemented a program in you doing your slavery and, and this is the way you react the way you do why, why you act all foolish you know and, and if you turn to your how you can get out that spirit of foolishness but you just don't want to hearken to the tour, you know? Check this out. He said, as our boat sails south on the James River, named for our illustrious king, talking about King James, whose version of the Bible we cherish, see? So they cherish this version of King James, but they don't cherish the tour, you see? Say, who, whose version of the Bible we cherish, right? I saw enough to know that your problem is not unique. While Rome used cords of wood as, car, as crosses for standing human bodies along with its slaves, hold on, to stand human bodies along its hanging from a tree Hold on, man. Well, shalom about that, y'all. Say, while well, Rome used cords of wood as crosses for standing human human bodies alone, its highways in great numbers. You are here using the tree and the rope on occasion. I caught the whiff of a dead slave hanging from a tree a couple miles back. Now check out what he said. He said, you are not only losing valuable stock by hangings. You are having outrises. See, your animals are being killed. Gentlemen, you know what your problems are. I, I do not need to elaborate. I'm not here to enumerate your problems. I'm here to introduce you to a method of solving them. In my bag here, I have a foolproof method for controlling your black slaves. See there? So it's showing you people that they came up with a plan and they installed this program in you, in your slavery. See? It's foolproof. Right? And they made it for the black slaves. He said, I guarantee everyone of you that if installed correctly, see, so if this program is installed correctly, right, like if you're installing a program to a computer, so if it's installed correctly, what? He says... He said, it will control the slaves for at least 300 years. My method is simple. Any, any member of your family or your, shall I, any member of your family or your overseer can use it. I have, 
I have outlined a number of differences among the slaves and I take these differences and make them bigger. See? So he take the differences in the people and make them big to separate you amongst each other, right? He say, I use distrust and envy for control purposes. These methods, these methods have worked on my modest plantation in the West Indies and I it will work throughout the South. Take these simple lists of differences and think about them. On the top of my list is age, but it's there only because it starts with an A. The second is color or shade. There is intelligence, size, sex, sizes and plant of sizes of plantations, status of plantations, attitude of owners, whether the slaves live in the valley on hill, east, west, north, south, have a fine hair, coarse hair, or as tall or short. Now that you have a list of differences, I shall give you an outline of action. That, but before that, I shall assure you that distrust is stronger than trust and envy, stronger than adult, adulation, respect, or admiration. See there? So there's, they build their foundations on this on this trust right envy adulation right and wicked acts right he said but back but black slaves after receiving this introduction may carry on and will be what self refueling and self generating for hundreds of years maybe thousands see there but i'm gonna stop right there you know what I'm saying? But that is crazy, right? They implemented a program in you, people. And it's self-generating. Well, and, it, and it proved now to be for thousands of years. See? So they told you what it was, man. They told you what it was. But see how people don't, they, how people reject knowledge. So we just going to keep it moving with that, you know? But see, the most I told you, he said, you know what I'm saying? You're going to perish like the nations if you forget him. So this is what happened. Because what happened to Egypt? As a nation, they perished. What? The people in Assyria took over Egypt. And the Edomites took over Egypt. You know? So Egypt, the Egyptian man, he perished as a nation. You know what I'm saying? The Egyptian community, community, you know what I'm saying? The people in Mizraim, they mainly of 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 a light of a light tone skin color now, and Edomites. Like you don't see dark Hamites over there no more. You know, you don't you don't see it. You may see it, but you don't see it, see it as much as you see the Edomites. And the Arabians, you know, you don't, you don't see them like that. You know, they they separated and spread it out. You know, they, they perished as a nation. The Most High destroyed them. You know, and that's what happened to us. You know what I'm saying? But all praises to the Most High Yahweh, you know what I'm saying? That he chose us as a nation. And he ain't destroy us all, you know. But we're going to read Deuteronomy 26, chapter 14. And we're going to read from uh, verses 14 through, I think, 46. All right? Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm showing you. I'm, I'm going to show you, you know what I'm saying, what happened. Because you start following the Most High Yahweh. You start following his Torah. You know, and that's what we, that's what we wasn't supposed to do. We we supposed to follow this tour. We are supposed to walk in this tour. Check it out. Verse fourteen he say, but if you will not listen to me, and will not perform all of these commandments, if you consider my decrees loathsome, and if you be, and if you're being rejects to my ordinances, so as not to perform all my commandments. So that you annually 
Shalom. So that you annual my covenant, that I will do the same to you. See? So what you doing, the most I doing the same to you. He said, I will assign upon you panic, swelling listens, and burning fever, which causes eyes to long and souls to suffer. You will sow seeds in vain. See there? For your enemies will eat it. I will turn my attention against you. You will be struck down before your enemies. Those who hate you will sub subjugate you. You will flee with no one pursuing you. See? So this is what happened to us as a nation. When in 70 AD, when the Romans and, and the other nations came against us. And we was fleeing in different areas. And we didn't have anyone in pursuit of us. And look, today, we do the same thing. You know, we see Popo, we gone. You're right. And no one's in pursuit. You know. Uh, we going to keep it going though. He say. If despite this. You do not heed me. Then I shall punish you further. Seven ways for your sins. I will break the pride of your might. Yo. He say. I will make your heaven like iron. And your land like copper. Your strength will, will be spent in vain. Your land will not give its produce. And the tree of the land will not give its fruit. If you have casually. If you behave casually with me. And refuse to heed me. Then I shall lay a further blow upon you. Seven ways like your sins. I will incite the wildlife of the field against you. See, so this is why, you know, you be attacked by wild beasts. Because if you follow in this tour, you're not going to be attacked by no one because Yahweh, the tour is a shield for you. Yahweh shields you. He shields the righteous. He tells you that in the tour, right? But he say, I will incite the wildlife of the field against you, right? And it will leave you. And it will leave you bearer of your children, destinate of your lives, destinate your destinate your livestock, and diminish you, and your work and your roads will become desolate. Right? So you know what I'm saying? The wildlife is killing you up when you're not against it. Remember when when the Israelites was in the white wilderness? And they was getting bit by them serpents. You know what I'm saying? When uh, when you go when 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 you just out and about, people doing uh, uh madness hunting, uh just out in fields doing madness trying to kill these animals and they getting attacked. Lions attacking people these days. You know. It's the wildlife against you. Right? And not only is it just the animals. Because you know what I'm saying. You, we reference people as animals. So when these police shooting you up. Shooting you up. There you go. Black on black crime most. There you go. You know what I'm saying. Because you animals in the mind. You acting like it. Right? Where we at? He say. Verse 25. We're going to go to verse 24. Shalai, we're going to start back at verse 23. Say, if despite this you will not chasten towards me and you behave casually with me, then too I will behave towards you with, casualty, with casualness and I will strike you. 
even I, seven ways for your sins. I will bring upon you a sword, avenging, avenging the vengeance of a covenant. See? So he going to bring the sword upon you for not following the covenant. He said, you will be gathered into your cities. Then I will send a pestilence among you and you will be delivered into the hand of your enemy. See? So he's telling you right there. You know what I'm saying? That he going to bring down the cities that you're dwelling in. The pestilence is going to come against you. This is what happened to you in Egypt. Check it out. He said, verse 26, he said, When I break for you the staff of bread, ten women will bake, will bake your bread in one oven, and they will bring back your bread by weight. You will eat and not be satisfied. So you're going to eat and not be satisfied. Right? This, he said, if you despite this, if despite this, you will not heed me. And you behave toward me with casualness. I will behave towards you with fury and call of casualness. See? So the most high going, he said he's going to re return fury upon you with casualness. He said, I will chastise you even I seven ways for your sins. You will eat the flesh of your sons and the flesh of your daughters will you eat. You see, this is what happened to us in 70 AD. And we don't know what they feeding us in these restaurants, right? Today, so you know what I'm saying? This still came about, right? Because we love wickedness as a people. He said, "I will destroy your lofty buildings and decimate what your sun idols." See, so right here is for them Christians and for everyone who. Just can't see the most I said what verse 30 said I will destroy your lofty buildings and decimate your son idols. He's gonna destroy your churches and your Jesus idols, your Mary idols, all these idols that you set up, the most high finna destroy, like he did in Jerusalem. Right? He said, I will cast your carcasses upon the carcasses of the idols. And my spirit will what? Reject you. So he's going to cast your bodies upon the body, the carcasses of the idols, yo. He say, and my spirit will reject you. So the most high spirit will reject you. See that? For what? Following it and wickedness. You know what I'm saying? He said, don't follow after the gods of the lands and the lands that I bring you to. Right? So, you you start following gods of the lands. And you still do it today. And you're not trying to get right. He said, you fall, we fall for a lack of knowledge. So, if we fall for a lack of knowledge, ain't he trying to tell you, get you some knowledge. Get you some understanding. Right? He said, I will lay your cities in ruin. And I will make your sanctuaries desolate. I will not savor your satisfying aromas. I will make a land desolate. And your foes who dwell upon it will be desolate. You, he said, and you I will scatter among what? The nations. So he said, you I will scatter among the nations. See, this is what happened to our nation. He said, I will unsheathe the sword after you. Your land will be desolate and your cities will be ruined. See, that's what happened to us in 70 AD. And we scattered still today. 34. Then the land will be appeased for its sabbaths during the years of its desolation while you are in the land of your what? Foes. So see that? You're not in your land. You're in the land of your foes. The land of your enemies. He say, then the land will rest and it will appease for its sabbaths. All the years of desolation it will rest. Whatever it did 
not rest during your sabbaths when you dwell upon her. See, the the survivors among you, again, the survivors among you, again, the survivors among you, I will bring weakness into their hearts and the lands of their foes, the lands of their enemies, is weakness in their hearts and the lands of their enemies. The sound of the rustling leaf will pursue them. They will flee as one flees the sword. See? So when you hear it, you go. When you hear a siren, you in rotation. You got it. You know what I'm saying? When you just think something coming, you go. You scared of them police. What? You, you, you dipping. You fleeing and ain't nobody pursuing. Check it out. Check it out. He say. They will, he say, he say, I will bring weakness into their hearts and the lands of the foes. The sound of the rustling leaf will pursue them and they will flee as one flees the sword. And they will fall, but without a pursuer. Ain't nobody pursuing you. He say, they will stumble over one another as in flight from the sword. But there is no pursuer. You will not have power. To withstand your foes. So today, tell me, do you have power to withstand your foes? Or do they come and just throw you in these jails or come and just beat you down? You can't, you don't have the power to withstand your foes. They got military forces. You don't have the power to withstand your foes. He say you will become lost among the nations. See? So you became lost. You wasn't lost, but you became lost because you forgot you. You forgot your identity. You forgot your alahayo. You turned away from your ahala, from your alahayo, and you forgot it. See there? He say, the lands of your foes will devour you. See? So we can't we can't we can't succeed here in the land of our foes. Because it devours us when we're in this tour, man. You know what I'm saying? That's why we need out. He say, the land of your foes will devour, devour you because of their iniquity. Your raiment will disin disintegrate in the lands of your foes. See? So because of our sins, our raiment disintegrate in the lands of our foes. That's what's going on. That's why... You know what I'm saying? In the land of our foe, we the minority. We spread it out in the four corners. So that make us minority where we at. See that? Check it out. He said, and because of the iniquities of their forefathers are in them as well, they are disintegrate. They will disintegrate. See? So because of our father's sin, our forefather's sins, and our sins also, we're dying in the streets. You know what I'm saying? We're dying through sicknesses. You know what I'm saying? Because of our sins and our forefather's sins, and we don't turn back to the Most High Yahweh, we die. He said they will confess their sin. And the sin of their forefathers. For the treachery with which they betrayed me. See? So we turn away from the Most High Yahweh. We betrayed him. And also for having behaved toward me with causalness. See? So we wasn't, we wasn't taking the Most High serious. You know? We act like he wasn't existing. You know, and we follow other gods. He say, I too will have, I too will behave toward them with causalness and will bring to them and bring them into the land of their enemies. See, so the most I'm telling you, he's going to break you, bring you, this, this the Israelites in the land of what? Your captivity. You know, you're going to be in the land of your what? Your enemies. This is not your friend. This is your enemy. He say, Perhaps then their unfeeling heart will be humbled and then they will gain appeasement for their sin. 
See? So the most I said, he gonna bring you through this, through this turmoil, through this torture. You know, he gonna, this is our chastisement. You know, and, and maybe then we'll turn back to him. Right? Maybe then we'll ask for forgiveness for our sins. Ask for forgiveness for the sins of our forefathers. Right? He say, 42, he say, I will remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. I will remember and I will remember the land. 43, the land will be benefit of them and it will be appeased for its sabbaths having become desolate of them and they must gain appeasement for their iniquity because they were revolted by my ordinances and because they, their spirit rejected my decree see so your spirit rejects the most highest decree I, hold on, that was verse 43. Shalak bought that. See, and, and see that? And he say, Yo, they spirit rejected my decrees. See that? Ain't that crazy? That's us. Look, Israel. Right? Look at this. Now, check this out real quick, right? Right, verse 46 and say but despite all this while they be in the land of their enemies say I will not have been revolted by them nor will I have rejected them to oblib obliterate them to annual my covenant with them for I am Yahweh their Allah I will remember them I will remember for them the covenant of the ancients See there, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He's going to remember the covenant. He said, those whom I have spoken, Shalot. He said, those whom I have taken out of the land of Egypt before the eyes of the nations to be God unto them. I am Yahweh. These are the decrees, the ordinance, and the teachings that Yahweh gave between himself and the children of Israel at Mount Sinai through Moses. See? So this is what happens when you don't follow the decrees of the Most High Yahweh. And like he said, this is what he gave. This is the this is the uh, the decrees, the ordinance, and the teachings that Yahweh gave between himself and the children of Israel at Mount Sinai through Moses. See there. So through Moses, the Most High delivered this to the most to the children of Israel. See there. All right, and with that, you know, we're gonna go to uh, let's see. All right, here go another one right here. You know what I'm saying? To show that the Most High wasn't playing. You know, if we don't follow, if we didn't follow His tour, you know what I'm saying? It's disciplinary actions for that. You know what I'm saying? Because we are special people unto Him, a picked out people. He picked us out. Check this out. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 49 through 51. All right. It says, Yahweh will carry against you a nation from afar, from the end of the earth, as, a, as an eagle will swoop, a nation whose language you will not understand. See there? So it's a nation that came against you who spoke another language, a different language than you. So you didn't even understand the language that they were speaking, right? You was just going off action. So check it out. Verse 50, 50 say, A brazen nation that will not be respectful to the old nor gracious to the young. See there? So they don't respect, right? It will devour the fruit of your animals and the fruit of your ground until you are destroyed. See? It will not leave you grain, wine, or oil, offspring of your cattle or flocks, of your sheep and goats, until it causes you to perish. See? So when they came in, in, in our land in 70 AD and destroyed us, they took all our flocks and everything that, that, that we had. You know? And it left our land, they left our land destroyed and desolate. Right? 
So if we don't follow the, if we didn't follow the Torah, these are the disciplinary actions that's coming from the Father, Yahweh. You know what I'm saying? He he dis he disciplined his seed. Who who is the children of Israel? Look, verse 37, he say, this Deuteronomy 28, 37 say, you will be a source of astonishment, a parable, a conversation piece among all the peoples where Yahweh will lead you. See? So, you know what I'm saying? Everywhere where Yahweh will lead you, they call you something other than what you are. They never they don't call you that Israelite man, the son of Jacob. They don't call you that. In America, they can't call you color. They call you black. They call you African American. How can you be two different nations? You know what I'm saying? Like everything is set up against you, Israel, and you've been programmed to believe these lies, man. Let's go back to uh let's go back to uh this Willie Lynch letter for a second. Let me show you something. Look. Respect or admiration. Say the black slaves after receiving this. Alright, here we go. The black slaves after receiving this indoctrination shall carry on and will become self-refueling and self-generation generate for hundreds of years. See that? Hundreds of years, right? Maybe thousands. Don't forget, you must pitch the old you must pitch the old male, black male versus the young black male. Here we go. See? So you're gonna put the old black male versus the young black male. This is how they get you. But you don't really know what's going on. But it started. This is a program to turn you against each other. You must pitch the black, old black male versus the young black male. This is in Jesus' name. Right? Your phallic God. Because y'all worship the same. Look. And the young black male. What? The young black male. What? Against the old black male. What? You must use dark skin slaves versus what? Light skin slaves. And light skin slaves versus what? Dark skin slaves. Look, you must use the female versus the male. And the male versus the female. See, this is what's going on. This is why the black man and the black woman hate each other. Because y'all programmed to do that. You know what I'm saying? You supposed to love your per your, yourself. He say you must put you must use the female versus the male. You know what I'm saying? And the male versus the female. See that? You must also what in the world? He said you must also have white servants as overseers who distrust all blacks. See that? But it is necessary that your slaves trust and depend on us. See? They white people. The white Jesus. Right? They must love, respect, and trust what? Only us. So you can't love your brother. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to love yourself. They want you to love, respect, and trust only them. See that? But you see, you've been programmed. I told you. You know? This is why you love Christ. Because you hate you. Say, gentlemen, these kids are the keys to control. Use them. Have, look, have your wives and children use them. Never miss an opportunity. If used intensely for one year, the slaves themselves, what, will remain perpetually distrustful. See there? He say, let's make a slave. See, this is what's going on. You've been programmed. I told you. You know, this is why the black man hate the black woman. And the black woman hate the black man. And all the elder men hate all the younger black men. And all the younger black men have no respect for the old. This is why you got your black on black violence. You know what I'm saying? This is why that black man started getting at these white girls. You want to know why? You've been programmed. You hate yourself. You are that man on the cross. You are the so-called Christ. You know? But you love the white man. That's what they want you to do. Love 
You, they must love, respect, and trust only us, the white men, your white Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So with that, we're going to go to the Torah right quick. See, it's a sad situation, my people, because, you know what I'm saying, we got all these babies out here, you know, that's motherless or fatherless. You know, it's rare to have, you know what I'm saying, the family structure thing in today's society. You know, it, it, it's rare to see that black family that's still together with the kids, you know. It's very rare, you know. And these are the reasons why. You know, you've been programmed. We've been programmed. That's why the Most High said, turn back to the Torah. He said, turn back to the Torah. See? Because you was programmed. You know? And when you got programmed, it took you what? Outside the Torah. It took you away from the Torah. You know? You took yourself away from the Torah. That's why you went and took captivity. You know? But we're going to show you. You know what I'm saying? Because of your own your own wickedness because Israel's a wicked people also you know so because of your own wickedness you turned away from the Most High Yahweh you know he was the God he was the King he was our God he was our King he's still our God he's still our King but we have to recognize him as God as our Allah you know you have to walk in his Torah you can't just say, you can't be out here claiming it and not doing it. You're a hypocrite. You got to walk in this tour. This is an everyday thing. You can't take a day off. You know what I'm saying? This is an everyday thing. I ain't saying you got to be online every day. I'm saying you got to be in this tour. You got to be in that, 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 that inward man every day. You got to walk in these statues, the ordinances every day. That's this tour. The Torah is the light. You know what I'm saying? So we put this Torah inside of us. You know what I'm saying? So if we're not online, if we're not communic if we're not out, you know what I'm saying, hey, dealing with the fellas, you know what I'm saying, talking to her, whatever, you know what I'm saying? We still, you know what I'm saying, apply in our everyday walk, you know? Because we make it our hearts, you know what I'm saying? We make it our mind, you know what I'm saying? It's in our soul, you know. But with that, with, with that, we're going to get to the verse, you know. But I just had to show you because, you know what I'm saying, they, they put the black man against the older black man. You know, these young kids today have no respect, you know. But you was programmed to, for it to be this way, you know. Our people, they sell drugs to one another. But you hate yourself, so you was programmed, you know what I'm saying? You was programmed to be this way. I know a lot of black people that be like, man, the, the only this justice that I know, the only this justice I know is all the black people that kill one another. But understand, you was programmed. Because if you wasn't programmed, you wouldn't kill yourself. You're supposed to love yourself. You know what I'm saying? Your brother, you got to love your brother like you love yourself. That's your brother. We connected in the spirit. It might not be blood, but in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? We got the same mother. We got the same creator. You know what I'm saying? We have the same purpose. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Like the Levites had a higher purpose because they, they dwell with the most high. They stay inside their the bar all the time. You know what I'm saying? Where the rest of the Israelites did they, they, they would they would fall short at times. That's why the Levites would, would do the the offerings, you know. But today, who what a physical Levite said? If we all children of the slaves. We don't know the tribes we come from. You know what I'm saying? Tell me where the Levites are. How you know? You ain't finna trace no DNA with no old hair follicle. That's nonsense, man. You can't tell me that. You know what I'm saying? You're not finna trace no DNA of, of no old hair follicle to know, you know what I'm saying, 
I'm sorry, it's not going to work that way. You know what I'm saying? The Most High told us what it was, man. You are what your father is. You know what I'm saying? People crazy. They think, look, I know that the white man, the Edomites, was mixing with the Israelites, right? When we was in our captivity, you know what I'm saying, as slaves, they still do it today, right? They still do it today. Our people cling to the white girl, and they just will not cling to their sister, right? To the sisters. So, you know what I'm saying? It show you that it's still going on today. So, if I look like I look, right? If I look like I look, ain't no way my father's father, father's father, father's father's father could have been a white man, dude. Check it out. Because, you know what I'm saying? My brother, he dates all Edom. He got five Edomite baby mamas. And all of his, all of his seed is like of that mixed mulatto color. All of them. You know what I'm saying? Some are shaded a little darker than the other ones, but none of them are my complexion. You know what I'm saying? Like, in most cases, in some cases, you may get one around our complexion. But in the wintertime, they usually lighten back up a little bit lighter than what we are. You know what I'm saying? When they're not in that sun, they usually lighten up a little bit more like than what we would because we are not in that. We're not mixed with the Edomite. You know what I'm saying? We are a mix of mixed race. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, uh, Moses was was mixing with the Egyptians and, you know, stuff like the, the Assyrian, uh, Noah mixed with the, they, they was mixing with each other. You know, but they never mix with the Edomite race. You know what I'm saying? So we are, you know what I'm saying, not really like we are a mixture of that Assyrian African man. We like a mixture of that. You know what I'm saying? Because the Egyptians and all that, I still call all of them like Mizraim, the African races. You know what I'm saying? Ham. You know what I'm saying? But uh being that you know what I'm saying? We are what we, what our fathers are that make us, you know what I'm saying, the same thing as Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know what I'm saying? We are what our fathers are. We're not what our mother is. The Torah didn't say you what your mother is. It said you what your father is. You know what I'm saying? So when we tell you that we the sons of, of Jacob, we the, we the sons of Israel, we know, you know what I'm saying, for a fact, because we follow instruction, we study, and we get we get to the bottom of it and figure it out, man. And the spirit bears witness to the truth. So you you're gonna get it. It's 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 right there. You know, all you gotta do is put it together, man. And you know what I'm saying. Once you do that, you know what I'm saying. You'll see. You'll see. You know what I'm saying. The the truth starting to come about. You know, once you realize you are these people. You know, you can't keep saying, can't, you Christians keep saying, like, how do I know that we are these people? Don't go to Deuteronomy 28, you know. Well, if we're not going to go to the tour, dude, what you want us to go to? You know what I'm saying? We can go to American history and show that we were slaves, but your, in your American history, it don't tell you that you was the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? But you can trace, you know what I'm saying? Yo, your culture back through the American, so-called American history, back to like the back into slavery, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? The tour fits. It fits you like perfectly. You know what I'm saying? In every aspect, you know what I'm saying, of how we're we're of how we're treated and in society, the tour fits. It fits our oppression, you know. It fits our spirit. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's us. There's no denying it. You know? But with that, we're going to get to these verses. I, I, I ain't mean to ramble so long. Shalak about that. Alright. We're in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 19. Right? And it says, It shall be that if you forget your how your God, Right and go after gods of others and worship them and prostrate yourself to them. I testify against you today that you will surely perish. Right, 
So when he said you will perish, he's not talking about physically passing away. Right? But you you lost your your nationhood. Right? You perish as a nation. Right? He say, like the nations that Yahweh caused to perish before you, so you will perish before because you will will have you he say so you will perish because you will not have hearken to the voice of Yahweh your Allah right so you will perish as a nation of peoples right all right let's go get to the next verse Now check this out right here, right? It say, above all, you cannot get them to work in this natural state. Hence, both the horse and the nigger must be broken, right? So they saying the horse and the black man must be broken. See? See? See, that is what? Breaking them from one of the form of mental life to another. See, look. You say, keep the body, take the mind. So, keep the body, take the mind. Right? And and that's like that movie they put out. Uh, uh, I cannot think of the name of that movie. When the lady was just stirring the cup and the black man went into that deep hole. Right? But in that movie, you see... You know what I'm saying? They was controlling the bodies, but the minds of the men was gone in that movie. Right? Look, in other words, break the will to resist. So they're going to break your will to resist. You know what I'm saying? Now, hold on. We're going to go back down here a little bit. Look, what say generation say? Therefore, if you break the female mother, she will break the offspring. In its early years of development. See? When the offspring is to, is old enough to work. She will deliver it up to you. The, for her normal female protective tendencies. Will have been lost. In the original breaking process. For example. To take the case of a wild stud horse. A female horse and a an already whoa infant horse and compare the break the breaking process with two captured nigger males in their natural state the pregnant nigger woman with her woman with her infant offspring look take the stud horse break him for a limited contaminant completely break the female horse until she becomes very gentle whereas you or anyone can ride her in comfort breed the mare and the stud until you what have the desired offspring then you can turn the stud to freedom until you need him again Alright, we got to hit them over the head with this verse, man. You know, they don't like when we bring it out, you know. And since they don't like when we bring it out, we going to bring it out. You know, Deuteronomy 28, 64 to 68, here we go. It says, 
Yahweh will scatter you among all people from one end of the earth to the other end of the earth. And there you shall work for gods of others. See, so you're not going to be working for, you know what I'm saying, your God, but you're going to be working for gods of others. See, so you're going to be in a, in, a, in a land of another people worshiping another God, man. See, it's telling you right there. But you guys don't want to wake up to the truth. But this is the truth. This is the Torah, right? It say, and there you will work for gods of others whom you did not know. You or your forefathers. See there? So you or your forefathers did not know this God. See, a God, see, of wood and of stone. See, see, because we didn't worship unto idols. We worship to the truth. God, the God of the living. Look, he said, and among those nations, you will not be tranquil. There will be no rest for the sole of your foot. There yet, Howard will give you a trembling heart, longing eyes, and a suffering soul. See, your life shall hang in balance, and you will be afraid. You, he said, and you will be frightened, right? And you will be frightened night and day. See there? So he said, you're going to be frightened night and day, right? And you will not be assured. You will not be sure of your livelihood, see? So you're not going to be sure of your livelihood, you know? In the morning, you will say, who can give back last night? And in the evening, who can give back this morning? For the fright of your heart and the fear of your in the fear, say, for the fright of your heart that you will fear, and the sight of your eyes that you will see, Yahweh will return you to Egypt in ships. So you came to bondage in ships. And your when you came to America, you came to bondage in ships, right? On the road of which I said to you, you shall never see it again. And there you will work, and there you will offer yourselves for sale to your enemies, see? So you offer yourself to sell, for sale to your enemy. See, that's not your friend, but it's your enemy. See, even though generations of time done passed, you know, it's still your enemy, not your friend. See, because you sold yourself to, for sale to your enemies as slaves and maid servants. But there will be no buyer, see there? So when you came back to Egypt, when you came back to slavery, they call it Egypt because they want to confuse you. Be see with with that English wordplay because in Egypt means slavery, means bondage, right? Because when you're talking about the the place, it's Mizraim. You know. So. You know, we just wanted to bring that out, you know, because it's, it's showing you right here that you're going to be worshiping gods of others, gods of wood and stone, who you nor your father didn't know. You know, over here, that's what you're doing. Your fathers didn't know this Jebus, you know, but that's what you claim is the truth for you. But your truth is a lie. So... You need to turn back to this Torah, you know, and get in the truth and walk upright in righteousness. See, I pray this video is really hitting home because it's really showing why our people is in that, pretty much that demonic mind state they in, you know, because they was programmed by these demons, man. And like, like, Today, our people is still reacting from these programs that our people went under, you know? So I, pr I pray that our people get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so they can see why our people are acting, you know, and acting like they do and why their spirits are corrupted, you know? And, th and this is the reason why, you know, because we didn't have this understanding of this Torah. We didn't have to understand of who we were as a nation. And our people, 
You know, our people love wickedness. They love corruption. They always have, you know, and like, that's why, you know, our people, like, you see them killing each other, you know, because they hate they self. They think the white man is God over them, you know. They love their masters, you know, and they hate this Torah. So when we bring this Torah out, they try, they're rejecting it before they, for they Christ, right? Who is, who is the devil, right? So I just pray, you know, that that's why I brought the Willie Lynch letter out with this tour so I could link it together so I could, you know what I'm saying, show y'all, you know what I'm saying, through their own mouths, you know what I'm saying, to prove the tour to be true. And to and I feel like, you know, that you should be able to see because the spirit bear witness to the truth. So you should be able to see, you know what I'm saying, that we are Israel. Like, it's undeniable. You know, it's undeniable truth, you know. And I just brought proof out the tour and your Willie Lynch letter to show that we are Israel. And to show, you know, it, it's mainly to show the mind state of our people, you know. But it also shows that we are Israel, you know, because we fit all the curf all the perk, all the uh, curses. You know. So with that, you know, we're going to go into this next video. All right, as you can see, we're in the book of Psalms, chapter 83, right? 83, we're going to start at verse 3. It says, For behold, your, fo your foes are in uproar, and those who hate you have raised up their head. Against your people they plot deviously. They take counsel against those sheltered by you. They said, Come, let us cut them off from being a nation. See there? See, so this right here, they, they say, come, let us cut them off from being a nationhood. So this is why you, you, you're called by words. You know, this is why you are astonishment to the nations. They cut off your language. They cut, they cut you off from your, from your history, your inheritance. Right? They say, come, let us cut them off from being a name, from being a nationhood. So the name of Israel will be rebuilt, will not be remembered any longer. See? So they didn't want your name, Israel, to be remembered any longer. Right? Say, for they have taken counsel together anonymously, and they strike a covenant against you. See? Israel, so they come against you. They strike a covenant against you. They take the name of Israel, you know, took the name of Israel out of your remembrance. They said, come, let us take them all. Let us cut them off from being a nation. See, they were plotting deviously against you. You know, stripped you of everything. And now you think it's the it's the uh, truth what they teach you because you were stripped and programmed. So let's say turn back to the Most High Yahweh, turn back to His Torah, and get wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All right, we're gonna keep it moving though. You know, with that we're gonna go uh, to uh, Jeremiah and get that for y'all real quick. All right. All right, here we go. Look, crossbreeding completed for further surveillance from the original beginning. We must completely annihilate the what? Mother tongue. See? So they saying they must completely annihilate the mother tongue of both the new nigger and what? The mule, the new mule. And the institute of a new language that involves what? The new life life's work of what? Both Shalak, both. You know, language is a particular institution. It leads to the. It leads to the heart of the people. The more a foreigner knows about, hold on, hold on. 
the language of another country, the more he is able to move through all levels of, of that society. Therefore, if the, strength, if the foreigner is an what? Enemy of the country to the extent that he knows the body of the language. To that extent, the country is vulnerable to attack. invasion of a foreign culture see for example if you take a slave teach him about your language he knows all your what secrets and he is no more a slave you can for you can't fool him any longer see being a fool is one of the basic ingredients of any ingredient to the maintenance of the slavery system see so they want you to be a fool right and we was bringing this out to show you that they changed your tongue right you didn't speak English right but you spoke something different but they annihilated your mother tongue they annihilated what you spoke see Alright, we're in the book of Jeremiah, right? And we're going to read verses 14 through 19. Chapter 2, verses 14 to 19. You know, because uh, Deuteronomy, we just showed you that we came over here in America, which was our bondage, you know. So them, they called it Egypt, you know, and it's for confusion, you know. But you came to America. But they worship the Egyptian gods here too, you know. So you know what I'm saying. You came back by ships and took bonds, captivity, you know. And and you know it's it's showing you, it's linking you to your identity, you know. Showing you history, you know, about your people, your ancestors, where you come from, you know. So you can know who you is, so you can know the truth. And move and, and walk and live, right? In righteousness in this Torah, right? But we're gonna go to chapter uh, two, verses fourteen. As you can see, we're gonna start there. It says, "Israel is a slave. Is he born to a housemaid? Why has he become prey? Young lions have roared over him and have raised their voice. They have made his land wasteland." His cities have become devastated without inhabitant. Even the people of North and Taphanes smash your skull. Say, has not has this not been done to you because you forsake Yahweh, your Allah When he leads you on the path, uh, Shalak, when he leads you on the path, and now, what is there for you on the road to Egypt to drink the waters of the Nile? See? And what is there for you on the road to Assyria to drink the water of the Euphrates? See? Your evil shall cascade you and way and your say your evil shall cascade you. Your waywardness shall chasten you. Realize and understand that you're forsaking Yahweh, your Allah. See there? So he's telling you. He say, realize, Israel. He say, realize and understand that you're forsaking your you're forsaking Yahweh, your Allah. You know what I'm saying? He said, your evil is he said, your God is evil and bitter. And that my all was not upon you. See? The word of my, see, the word of my Lord, the word of my king, Yahweh, Allah, Master of Legions. See there? The word of my Lord, Yahweh, Allah, Master of Legions. But you see, the Most High is telling you, you know what I'm saying? That you drunk the water. Of the Egyptians, you know, 
You drank the water of the Assyrians. You know what I'm saying? See, in the now and in the Euphrates, right? So, the most I showing you, you know what I'm saying, that you you was following in, in wickedness. Because you're drinking the wrong water. You're supposed to be drinking this Torah water and, and walking in this Torah. Right? But our fathers disobeyed the Most High Yahweh, and we disobey him also when we don't walk accordingly. Right? He said, realize and understand that you forsake your God, your Lord, your King, Yahweh Allah, Master of Lisa. See? So with that, you know, we're going to end it out. I like to say Shalom, Shalom to the Kaya, you know, Kaya Halalai Yahweh Kaya, you know, and, and stop trying to say, people stop trying to say that, you know what I'm saying, we not Israel, we not the sons of Jacob, because clearly we are, you know, clearly. You know, it shouldn't be any refuting this anymore, this topic, you know. So with that, you know, we like to say Shalom. Yahweh Akkad.